Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn more about the resources section within a cloud formation. So let's get started. The re so resources form the core of our cloud formation. Why? Because they are because cloud formation used to create resources or configure them on respective regions within the specific availability zones. So without them, cloud formation won't work. Resources are the AWS components that can be configured and provisioned using our Amazon Web Services. We can also declare and reference these resources within our cloud formation templates. And AWS then with the help of those templates, figures out how to create, update, or delete the resources. And there are about 224 resources. So now we'll see about what the definition says about it. Okay, The required resources section declares the AWS resources that you want to include in the stack, such as Amazon EC2 instance or any Amazon or Amazon S3 bucket. So it can be any resource basically that can be that we want cloud formation to create for us. Okay. The resource section consists of a key name resources. As you can see, this one is a JSON format and the below one is a YAML format. Now within the resources, you can see a logical ID. Now what is a logical ID? Logical ID is any name that is given to a resource so that we can reference it into in the other resources of the template okay in short it identifies the resource okay then we mention the type which is the resource type like of what type is it right then we have also got properties so these properties may differ according to the resources like for example if we take we have already created an ec2 instance right in the previous lectures so in this you can see that the logical id over here is nothing but my instance the type that is the resource type is about is aws ec2 instance and within the properties, we have mentioned availability zone, then image ID with which the EC2 instance should be created, and instance type, which is t2.micro. So in this way, we can declare resources in our templates. So basically, we can see over here the AWS resource and property types references. Now, we saw the logical ID, right? Then in the type, we were mentioning the resource type. Now, how the resource type needs to be declared, how and how do we know that what is to be actually mentioned over here, we'll understand this section for that. AWS resource and property types reference. Okay, so this section contains reference information for all AWS resource and property types that are supported by the AWS cloud formation. Okay, so it is of the form like service provider colon colon service name as well as data type name. Now you can see this was the service provider this was the service name and this was the data type right data type name so if we want to see the resource type for ec2 you can directly go to amazon ec2 you can see there are the different types mentioned over here among which if i want to have an instance like an EC2 instance, then I'll refer these many, this template I'll be referring in order to enter the required information and then 
finally deployed to our cloud formation right now considering our this thing our template we had mentioned properties which include availability zone so if you want to know more about how sh what is i mean whether it's required whether the uh, property is required in our ec2 instance or not or extra information related to this particular property is mentioned when you click on it you'll get this page where you'll understand uh, whether it's required or not what is its type and update requires replacement or no interruptions so in this way you can uh, refer the documentation while creating a template for the cloud formation and it also helps us to understand different uh, ways through which these properties work for us so that's it for this lecture hope you found it really useful it's nothing but all about configuring resources and how do we actually write it while implementing it in cloud formation so hope you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel if you really love the videos and also don't forget to press that bell icon for new updates thank you so much have a nice day